see here on the corner. This is an authentic Chinese supermarket. I remember them just making this, the artist painting the wall. There's this uh, plaza here, this open plaza. And then there's an anime cafe. Good day, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm here in Ikebukuro, right here. I'm starting right here. This place called the Global Ring at Ikebukuro Nishiguchi Park, you know? I decided I'll just walk around this area just because I was in this area. And there are some new things here that never used to be here before the pandemic. Hello everybody! Welcome back to another video. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Yeah, so like I said, um, it's um, Ikebukuro. Ikebukuro is... I'm not sure how popular it is among the tourists. Um, there are some people that go to, I believe there's a Pokemon store here, um, but there are some changes. Lots have, lots has changed in this city and it's kind of interesting. So first things first, uh, this area here called the Golden, sorry, the Global Ring at Ikebukuro Nishi, Nishiguchi Park. It's all brand new. Um, this uh, open plaza was always here, but they've like, um, really made it pretty. They've added this nice little cafe here where you can get soft serve and teas. I sometimes like to sit here with a nice cup of tea right over here. During the winter, they add some heaters so it's nice and warm. Um, but this is my favorite place to chill in this area of Ikebukuro. And then there's a stage here. This is where they have uh, shows. Uh, they have a jazz festival every year. And this is one of the main venues of the jazz festival. Yeah. Once again, this is the Global Ring Cafe. Okay, and then we're gonna walk around the station. I actually just came out of the station and I'm gonna show you some other new stuff here. Anyway, yeah. Just this whole area here. This area called the Global Ring is brand new and it's actually very pretty at nighttime. If you're wondering what that is, that is a theater. They also have a gallery there. Um, exhibitions and they have like music concerts etc this is a little bus stop area and there's like six different bus stops six or seven okay how many of you guys have visited the Ikebukuro area in Tokyo I'm very curious I personally enjoy Ikebukuro I didn't used to like it when I was younger, but now I, I actually like it. It has a very unique characteristic, very different from uh, Harajuku or Shibuya, Ginza. It's a little similar to Shinjuku, but even compared to Shinjuku, it's a little bit rough around the edges. That's a strange way of putting it, but it looks rough around their edges, I guess. This building here is Ikebukuro Station. One of the entrances. This is the west entrance. The Tobu department store side. Okay, and then you have all this part here. Inside here you have lots of eateries and bars. And um, we have like a tiny little Chinatown over there. I like to call that the real Chinatown. You know, we have Chinatown in Yokohama, but I call that the tourist Chinatown. This one is the real Chinatown. Hey, let's cross the street. I think I'm gonna show you guys the real Chinatown, part of it at least. It's way smaller than the Yokohama Chinatown, obviously, but... And it's not really officially called Chinatown. But that's what I've heard. I've heard that this is where all the Chinese people come and eat. Satoshi and I, we both have been to a couple of places there. And I can honestly say, you can get some authentic Chinese food there that you can't get anywhere else. This is the 
gigantic Tulb department store. Actually, one of my favorite department stores in Ikebukuro. Seibu is bigger, but Seibu is so popular, it's always crowded. So, I kind of prefer Tobu. This is Matsumoto Kiyoshi, one of the many uh, drugstores or pharmacies. You know, a lot of pharmacies have closed down during the pandemic because we had too many pharmacies, I think. And they all cater to the tourists. So, this is one of the shoten guys here. This is Nishi Ichiban guy. And instead of walking down there, it is interesting. Lots of bars and restaurants and eateries. I'm going to turn here so I can show you the real Chinatown. Already here, you can already see these. Uh... Oh, okay, this one has closed down. This used to be a place selling these bows and they have gone out of business oh okay that's too bad that's okay there are some new shops here that I haven't seen okay there's on the left side here right here on the corner this is an authentic Chinese supermarket where you can buy all kind of Chinese stuff yeah all of this right here and a lot of the shops here down this street is Chinese as well you know what I'm gonna go around the block and it will come back to the street as well we just kind of go in a loop yeah so these are all the Chinese things here really cool shop the first time I, I discovered this area I was so intrigued by all of these authentic Chinese restaurants the reason why I've never really filmed around here is because there are a lot of girly bars so I didn't want to get into trouble right across the street over there uh, they have some uh, Shanghai style fried dumpling which is amazing we actually featured that on a very old video of Ikebukuro And then, right across the street over there, you can get some Chinese-style burgers. I've never tried it. I really should though. And if, you, and if you go down this street, I mean, there's so many Chinese restaurants. Even one street down that way, parallel to this street, are all super authentic Chinese restaurants. I'm just going to turn in here. Of course, it's not all Chinese food because once again it's not an official Chinatown or anything like that but I'm going to turn in here there are a couple of shops here that are super authentically Chinese that I'm so curious to try so one is this one here this is a super Chinese place and all the customers are are non-Japanese. I have no idea what they what they serve here, but I'd like to visit this place once. And then also here, and right next door is like a dim sum place, and then right next door to that is like a Szechuan cuisine place. Anyway, yeah, like I said, and then we're back here at the Chinese supermarket on the corner. But like I said, I'm very authentic Chinese food food that I'm very unfamiliar with. Okay, we're gonna walk over to the other side of the station because there are a, a couple of things on the other side that's brand new. By the way, this Chinatown is not new. It's it's always been here. And, and I keep calling it Chinatown, but it's not really Chinatown, so... Yeah, maybe you shouldn't call it Chinatown either. But anyway, all this area right here. Just look for this Hotel Sunset Sun City on the corner and then you know that you are in Ikebukuro's Chinatown. The train station is here. This is the Ikebukuro station west entrance and we are going to uh, actually 
should I go? No, I'm not gonna go. We're gonna, we're gonna turn left here instead. I think I've show, shown you guys this little route before. There's a very cool underground tunnel that takes you to the other side of the station. It's very colorful. Look at this. It's actually, you know, I haven't been here for so long. Like, oh my goodness, I can't, I don't even know how many years I haven't been here, but I don't remember it being this pretty. Maybe because I, I just haven't been here in such a long time. But anyway, I remember them just making this, the artist painting the wall. The artist painted both sides of the wall, this entire tunnel. And then it was um, covered in plastic wrap for a while, I guess to let it dry. I remember them making it. This tunnel used to be just plain old drab concrete wall. And then e even the ceiling is painted as well. I, li I like this. It adds so much, you know, to this simple underground tunnel to get you to the other side. And I think uh, most people when they come to Ikebukuro, as far as tourists are concerned, they come out on this side of the station. I think it'll start to look familiar to some of you. Okay. So the train station is to my right. This whole area has a electronic store. Like that's lobby. And then big camera is right next to it. There's another big camera on this side. We're going to cross over here. And Sunshine City is also on this side of the station. There are also many changes to Sunshine City. Okay. Hey look, I can see some blue sky. It was raining all day today. That's so nice, I'm so happy. It's rainy season right now. And although it's not raining right now, forecast calls for rain all day the entire week. Except for the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, we have nice weather. By the way, if you're wondering, today is Wednesday. Uh, maybe I should have gone down another street. This street is the boring street. So we have come out to the other side. We're almost at the new area. Almost, not quite yet. So the train station is actually behind me over there. This whole entire block is Labi, the humongous electronic store. This is a pretty new building but I don't know why I've never been inside. It's called Wakka. I don't know why. It's, it's mostly restaurants and there's a hub. That's uh, Jeru's favorite place. Okay. Let's cross. Oh! I really have not been to Ikebukuro so long. I completely forgot that this place existed. This place is famous for taiyaki and it's really good. Oh yeah. Okay. I think this is the brand new area. Yeah, it is. So, this whole area I'm about to show you guys like this wasn't here before the pandemic. I don't even know what used to be here. Maybe they were just buildings or something. I don't know, but anyway. This whole area is brand new. Look at this gigantic animate building. I believe this is the biggest animate, animate store in Japan. It's, it's in this gigantic building. And then there's this uh, plaza here, this open plaza. And then there's an animate cafe right here.
Let me show you the anime building again. It says, it's humongous. I've never been inside. And then there's a Toshima Civic Center. So this is brand new. And then it's connected to the Brilla Ha. I'm not really sure what's inside here, but this is brand new. And then this building's brand new as well. Right here. And this is where you can catch a movie at Toho Cinemas. Probably the nicest theaters in Ikebukuro at the moment. At least the newest theaters. And Toho Cinemas is pretty nice. Okay, just uh, let's turn back to see what it looks like from this side. Ah, nothing special. But uh, yeah. All these buildings and you know this animate area added some newness to Ikebukuro. So that's Toho Cinema Cinema Complex. I've never been in there, so I don't know what it's like here. Satoshi and I, when we watch movies, we usually go to Shinjuku because that's our neighborhood. And then there are some nice restaurants. It's a little windy. I hope the sound is okay. Yeah, there are some eateries here right along the street. This is the Little Delirium Cafe where you can get Chicago style pizza and this place called Egg where you can get all day breakfast. Never been to any of these places, sorry, so I, I, I can't comment on how they are but they look pretty good and this is a place serving uh salisbury steak and then this is a pizza parlor here and then if we turn right here i believe we'll be very near sunshine city yes 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 yeah, that's the Sunshine City building over there. So maybe not so near. But at least we're going in the right direction. You know, Tokyo is such a humongous city. I'm noticing this the longer I live in Tokyo and the more I travel abroad to other major cities, I'm beginning to realize how huge Tokyo is like seriously and I don't know sometimes when I think about it it makes me panic isn't it strange it makes me panic because it makes me realize that I will never be able to see even half of what Tokyo has to offer in terms of restaurants and shops and that makes me panic for some reason and when I was in Hawaii the last time, being in Hawaii made me realize that. You know, in Hawaii, Satoshi pointed something out. He said, in Hawaii, when there's a cool place that opened up, like a new shop, new restaurant, for example, all the foodies know about it. But here in Tokyo, when a new place opens up, not everyone knows about it. It's hard to get information on new places because there's just so many opening at the same time and there are too many. Like there are like literally hundreds that open up in a day. So it's impossible. This is one of my favorite stores called Awesome. It's called the Awesome Store. I like going into it. But for some reason, there's nothing I actually want to buy. Are there stores like that for you? They're closing. Oh, it's a clo store closing sale. Maybe I'll go inside and buy something later. I don't know. Satoshi will get mad at me. No, 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 no. We try not to clutter our house anymore. So maybe I will behave. But okay, they're closing. Okay, that makes me a little bit sad. But then there are other awesome shops in Tokyo, so I guess that's okay. And then here's a Tully's, Tully's coffee shop. And a lot of times 
they do collaboration. They have like a Harry Potter cafe. So that's Tully's coffee shop up there. And I believe, I wonder if, you know, they are, they are doing Harry Potter stuff again. Look, Harry Potter, Tully's coffee, frozen milk tea, trickle tart. Oh, okay. I've never been to a Harry Potter cafe. I should check it out. Okay. And then we're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna end the video at, uh, at the base of Sunshine City, okay? I just wanna show you one gigantic change that happened to Sunshine City. So we're walking along the back streets of Ikebukuro. See, Ikebukuro is kind of fun, don't you think? It can be chaotic, like Shinjuku. But a lot of people say Ikebukuro, I don't know, like you can find cheaper stuff, like cheaper restaurants and stuff. Okay, so. We are at the base of um, Sunshine City. Actually, no, we're at the entrance of Sunshine City. And instead of Tokyo Hands, there used to be a humongous store called Tokyo Hands. Now it's Nitori, which is like a Japanese IKEA. And so they've taken over the entire Tokyo Hands store because Tokyo Hands is no more. Now Tokyo Hands is bought out by a company not this one it's a different company and uh it, now Tokyo hands is called just hands it's simply called hands yeah but anyway if you walk down here you will get to sunshine city as a sign says but i just kind of want to show you this it's now nitori so that's it guys i just wanted to take a short walk with you around ikebukuro and show you what's changed here since the pandemic maybe check it out on your next visit to tokyo this this uh, nitori shop by the way this japanese ikea it's not really an ikea i just call it japanese ikea um pretty pretty interesting if you like furnishings if you like ikea you might enjoy checking out nitori okay with that said i'll see you guys on my next video bye bye